Hello and welcome to announcements for the month of April, the season of Easter here at the yep. church, Dan. Uh, we got a lot of it. things happening. We did. We got through it. Uh, uh, hopefully you were able to celebrate with us and worship with us during the Easter holiday. Um, but Dan, as we go into April, we want to focus on the things that are, are coming up here. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the same time, ironically, in a place that focuses on things that yeah. have already happened here at the church. Right. A lot of right. you are probably wondering, where are Dan and Andy standing? This yeah. is neither of our houses. This is not. This is uh, this is the history room. That's yeah. what we call it now. It's a space behind the sanctuary. Yep. Um, in fact, where you are sort of viewing uh, us, if you were standing there directly behind you, would be the pipes of the organ. Yes. Uh, there's a whole little building set up there that houses those pipes. And uh, this probably, we think, was probably uh, one of the pastor's studies during, uh, before some of the other parts of the church were built. But uh, it's where we house uh, a lot of the history of the church. And uh, you'll be hearing about this in our podcast. We are, yeah. So we're going to have a, uh, another podcast coming your way, another little special mini-series kind of about the church and things that are happening here and have happened here. We have a great conversation uh, coming your way. Andy Carr Mitchell talking about some of the history of the church right. uh, and some of the things that uh, the history committee has found in this room, which uh, there's some great and, and and great stories, great stories, great stuff. Uh, the reason we're doing this is uh, you've been hearing us talk about a capital campaign for a long time, and yeah. you'll be hearing a lot more about that in May yeah. uh, as we get to uh, the kind of the rollout of that. Some really exciting things to describe, but. You know, this is our turn. Uh, 280 some years the church has been around and uh, every generation has had to do some work on the church and now it's our turn. So yeah. uh, we get to tell the stories. We'll talk more about that in May. In so, May, in May. <laughs> but April, but April. April. We're gonna April. take a little breath in April. We've been working hard yeah. since Christmas. Easter came early. And uh, so we want, to, want you to be able to spend some time getting to know each other and just uh, getting ready for what's coming in the summer. Yeah, and speaking of getting to know each other, ways to do that are through our mission uh, mission partners, mission giving, and mission involvement. And one of those is the uh, the Edible Garden. Just a reminder, we talked about this in March. It's coming up on April 9th. Wonderful. Um, we need some volunteers uh, at the actual event, uh, the packing event that they have, Tuesday, April 9th at 4.30 at Hamilton Elementary. So if you have uh, any questions and if you want to be involved in that, let Patty know. You can email patty at uh, fpclancasterpa.org. Now, Dan, we also have another event that we want mm -hmm. volunteers for on that same exact day, correct? We do. Uh, that day, and just to uh, piggyback a little bit off yeah. the Edible Garden, I mean, remember that that project is uh, going to help kids in that neighborhood begin to learn about how they can be part of uh, cultivating the earth and yeah. providing food for themselves and their families through little gardens. And uh, speaking of food, uh, we uh, have our um, uh, partnership with First Reform Church. We'll be providing a meal for our community. Yep. Uh, we'll need some volunteers, three to help prepare the meal and then uh, about eight people to help during the time of the meal now that the people can come and stay. It's one of the nice things now that we're kind of through COVID, the people are able to stay in the building and eat the meal with, uh, with us and uh, we're excited for that. So we need about three and eight. Three and eight. And uh, once again, that's another that's reach out to Patty. Tuesday, yep. April 9th. 9th. Uh, that's one o'clock for the help, help getting ready and then serving is around 4.30. Uh, but reach out to Patty, let her know uh, if you're interested in that. Um, and then Dan, we, we are into a new quarter. We, we are. are. We are. I know. <laughs> it's a surprise, but here yeah. we are. The we are. second quarter yeah. uh, begins in April. Um, this quarter is focused on the, our mission partners that work with students. Yeah. And uh, our three mission partners that we're highlighting this uh, this quarter are CASA, Court Appointed uh, Special or Student Advocates. Uh, they work with little children who are caught in court uh, systems where perhaps parents are embattled and, uh, and they are able to uh, mentor and work with the kids. Uh, also, uh, the Mix at Arbor Place, a, a wonderful after-school program, actually more than that, it's a youth center down in the south end yeah. of Lancaster County and then, or Lancaster City. And then also the Milagro House, so one of our favorite partners that uh, works with uh, young mothers who are working on their education to finish their uh, high school degrees. They live uh, right in the Milagro House, and uh, we want to continue our partnership with them. Three, three great ministries. And then uh, just like we did in the first quarter, yep. 
Our second quarter ends uh, at Pentecost and we'll be contributing 10% of what's, what we collect during this quarter and sending it to the Pentecost offering of the PCUSA. And that offering uh, also goes to help uh, ministries working with students all over the country. So yeah. we're really proud to be part of, uh, of that ministry, uh, of that partnership, and uh, we hope that, uh, that you'll uh, give strong during this quarter. Yeah, as you've seen some information on the screen here about, uh, about that PCUSA offering. Uh, learn more about that. You can uh, check out their website as well. Uh, now, Dan, we also have a, a clothing drive happening in April. Um, yeah. It's starting on April 14th, and this clothing drive is going to um, uh, sexual Assault uh, Prevention Counseling Center over at the YWCA. Mm -hmm. um, They're looking for specific things. These things are going to, in order to provide comfort and dignity um, to the survivors of uh, comfortable clothing for them right. to wear and to move forward yeah, in their you, life. You might yeah. remember the last time we talked about this program. It's a critical program and, are, and very few like it in, in our city. Yeah. Oftentimes when uh, women are the uh, victims of uh, uh, domestic violence or sexual assault, uh, all of their clothing is taken from, from them for evidence at the hospital and then this, what you're giving, will uh, help them to be able to have something to leave the hospital with as they enter into some sort of stabilization housing setting. So yeah. really important. We hope that you will uh, be yeah. as strongly as you did last time. Yes, and now the new art they're asking for new articles of clothing. The information is Brand coming new. on the screen. Yep. And uh, just so you know, this is men, women, and children. Yeah, thanks for uh, highlighting yes. that. Yes, yeah. uh, that's just something that in the past it's always been that, but we just want to make sure that we highlight the fact that it doesn't have to be just women's clothing. Right. Right. Um, but there are certain things that are on the screen right now. So if you have the ability to give the, to that uh, drive, you can do that for the 14th, the 21st, and the 28th of April. There's going to be drop-offs uh, in the lobby up here and also down in Shirk Hall. Mm -hmm. So there's bring two spots. to the church any yeah. time. Just let Patty know, yeah. and uh, we'll, we'll help make that happen. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think that's it, Dan. It is. It's kind of nice to have a little shorter ah. uh, opportunity to be able to do that. Uh, we've been the church. This church has been doing so much, so much good stuff. We're so grateful for all of you, your generosity, your energy into our mission uh, projects and uh, the great mission partners that we're working with, together with. So thanks a lot. Yeah, and if you have any questions about the history of this church, yes. uh, reach out to our history committee. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe there's something you want to find, uh, maybe uh, <laughs> something in your past or your, your grandparents or whatever, if you've been a long-time yeah. member of this church. This room is packed full of information, so reach out to them and learn a little bit more about FPC and this great building that we're in right now. So as always, thank you for worshiping and serving with us here at FPC. Mm -hmm.